Hi guys, welcome to the channel. Today we're going to be talking about the new toolkit that's been released by Creality. I'm going to go through and have a look what's in it. Um, but this should be a fairly short video. Uh, my name's Gary, and if you don't mind subscribing, it'd be much appreciated. And at the end, if you like the video, just give us a thumbs up. Uh, there is affiliate links down below if you want to buy Creality stuff or some Sunleaf stuff. Um, and if you feel like buying me a coffee, there's also a link below to do that. Okay guys, let's get into it. Okay, so this just came in the mail today. Um, I think I, I won it on um, one of Zora's live streams. So I'm quite happy that I won it. So it's in a quite, quite a nice sturdy um, cloth type case. And a Velcro tab and it just opens up. What you do have in it is a spanner, I can see a spanner, some hot end pokers. So if those in the old days would know the, uh, the hot end pokers. You can see that it's a little like a little needle, yeah? So you've got a whole tub full of them, or tube I should say, full of them. Yeah, get in there. Um, a pair of tweezers. So basically in the kit's everything you're going to need to do 3D printing um, repairs and stuff. Um, I'll just give me a second, I'll hold it up so you can see. But um, it comes in a kit like this. Okay, so you've got a wire brush to clean the um, print heads and stuff of any filament. You've got three files. So you've got a triangular file. A flat and it's just like a half circle file. So one end's flat and the other end's curved. I don't know if you can see that. And you've got a round file. Cool. So they're, they're always good to have to um, get those little corners and stuff of your models that you need to get in. You get two scrapers. So one's a plastic one and one is a, a metal one. Now the metal ones I use for my filament, plastic ones I use for my resin. When I'm doing resin I need to get into the vat because you can't scratch the vat or you're replacing it. <laughs> okay, a um, Bowden tube cutter. I don't know if anyone's seen this, but they cut Bowden tube like dead straight. So you get a good 90 degree turn on it. So the Bowden tube goes in there and sits in that little thing there and then this comes down, it's got a sharp little end on it. What else have we got? I'm not sure what that's for. It's a little suction cup on a key ring. Come on. <laughs> so, so that fits in there. Um, you've got a pair of cutters. Yeah, not too bad. Standard sort of cutters. They're a bit longer than the normal one. I think a tiny bit, if anything. You've got a pair of uh, long nose pliers. Come in handy to get all these bloody... Um, annoying little bits of support that get stuck way down inside your model okay so on this side you've got probably the best part of the kit i find Ugh. so when you get a jam in your get it out come on okay when you get a jam in your hot end this little piece of wire here on the end of this knob it's really good. I don't know. Okay. Can you see it? Right, let's put it next to Joe here. Okay, so this, um, oh, I should have introduced him. This guy here is my buddy for the day. I've just finished building him. I've just got to put a little eye on him. Um, so he's a bit blind at the moment. So <laughs> a bit, there'll be a, a concave, concave, convex, convex um, little lens I'll put on there. So a bit of plastic and I'll hot gun it and sort of make it, mould it to fit. Um, but this thing here goes in your hot end and pushes out any filament that might be stuck in your hot end. So if you have a look at the hot end here, this will fit, open it up, this one fits just down inside where the, the filament would usually go and just push it in there. Just, you can put some pressure on it, like so, and just push down and the filament will come out the hot end. So that's, um, that, I find that really, really handy. Um, gone are the days of trying to get, um, yeah, so I find that exceptionally handy. 
these ones since Crowley started bringing them out not that long ago. Oops. So it's just a, just a, um, I know it's about half the width of a coat, a wire coat hanger with a handle on it, but it's quite strong and you can put a fair bit of force down on it. So they come in very handy. I've cleared lots of jams that way that I probably, man, that's a bit tight, that I probably would have um, had to pull the hot end apart that I didn't have to. So you get this here and inside the back, back handle you've got it's a deburrer, yeah? So the two little bits here, the different sizes, so you can just fit one in like so. You see, and what you do is you run it down up the side of the, your model and it will take all the burrs and stuff off the edge of the model because it's got a bit of a sharp end on there. Just on here, okay. So you got two of them, and they just fit in the back end here and the, this goes on there. Easy, easy, yeah. And the last thing you get is, oh no, two last things. You get a right angle Allen key. This is the same size as your uh, print head or your hot end. And you can just take the print head off. So that they're pretty handy to have. The last thing you get is this little box. Inside the box, uh, which way do I open it? Yeah. Okay, inside the box you get a really nice, oh it's going to make that right, you get a really nice um, uh, bit um, screwdriver thing. So, screwdriver handle, it's nice, it's a metal one with a rubber handle on it, and you just pick which one you need, shove it in the end, and instead of using Allen keys you can use this, so it's a lot easier to use, yeah. So. You've got um, Allen keys, you've got security security ends, security ends are the star ones with a little hole in the, in the end of it, I don't know if you can see that, a little hole in the very end of it, so they're security keys. You've got flat ends, you've got Phillips, you've got um, a three, three pronged one, I don't know what they're called, but basically everything you need for your printer is sitting over here in the the, the ends, you get a, I can get it, oh, get the pliers and get it out, that's it, um, you get a nice little cleaning brush, so it's a nice soft one, it's a plastic, plastic end instead of wire, you get another pair of tweezers, you get a, another little spanner with multiple um, sizes on it for your print heads and stuff like that, you get a Stanley blade or a you know, hobby knife, so they're pretty cool. And 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 there's one other thing in here. Ah, oh, yes, okay, okay, okay. So what else? What this is for is an extension. So where you've usually got this, and at the end goes in the, into the top of this, you can put this on, and it's extension, and you can bend it and still use it. See as it's bent. So that's a little extension you get in there, so that's pretty cool. You get a, this will be a box of, um, this will be a box of blades, if I can get into it. It's just it's nicely crafted to the box so everything stays in place. But you get a box of, one, two, looks like five blades. I could be counting wrong, I'm not going to squish my fingers along them too much to get them separated. So a little box of blades to go with your little um, hobby knife. And it all comes in this little kit. Now this kit, which I quite like, and the top is a magnetic top, so it's got little magnets in each of the four corners. And that just fits on, comes off, fits on, and that just fits in here. Oh, what's this? Magnetic project. Oh, and you get a little um, magnetic whiteboard, so to speak. So the whiteboard is you, it's, a, it's a, one of those magnet ones, but it's um it's a, it's magnetic. It's very it's like for fridges and stuff. But if you've got a board and you can write all your projects and stuff and notes on that, so that slips in underneath where the um where I just got that toolbox out of. 
Yeah, if I can get it back in. Ah, yeah, it's got to do it right. So that just sits in there. You can even sit it in there and write on it with a um, whiteboard marker. So that's the latest toolkit from Creality. So everything you need to service your 3D printer. Well worth it. I'm not 100% sure what the price. I think it's about. I think it's about 60 Australian dollars, 50, 60 something like that Australian dollars, which works out at about um, 35 maybe US, 35, 40 US, and it comes in this nice little carry case. So I quite like it. Okay, so if you see all the stuff around me, <laughs> I've got this left over from the share fest, so I thought I might pretty up the, um, the video room a bit. Um, just to let everyone know, I'm very honoured to say that I have got a brand friend certificate from Creality. Um, there's only two of us that have it worldwide at the moment. There's um, Sean in, uh, the other guy's in Australia, his name's Sean, and he works out of Queensland. He's done a lot of work for Creality. Um, and so it does a damn good job running one of their sites. And I just got this, um, I'm not sure why. I love Creality because I think that they do more for, um, for 3D printing than any other brand. Um, they're the only ones that hold things like ShareFest and stuff regularly and every week they hold um, video live streams. If you haven't um, seen them, um, hmm. uh, it, on the time zone it's plus eight. So I don't know what you are, so you either add or subtract, subtract from the plus eight. But we are, China is plus eight, and I'm directly on the timeline of China, so I'm lucky I get up at the same time. But it's 9.30 on Wednesday mornings in the plus eight time zone. Um, so that's usually a Tuesday night in the US sometime. I know on the west side, it is about 9.30 at night on Tuesdays. Um, on the east side, I think it's about another three hours ahead of that, so it's probably about midnight or one o'clock in the morning that they do it. But they, it's their, their, their work, work um, day, and they fit it into their work day for us, and they give away prizes and stuff, so uh, that's how I won this. All I did was put my name in the drawer, didn't need to pay anything, just put my name in the drawer, and they spin a wheel, and it randomly picks someone to win prizes, and they give away filament and things like that. Sometimes they give away printers. I know um, when the K2 gets released officially, they're going to give away K2. So if you haven't been watching the live streams, it'd be a good idea because it costs you nothing. And it's there's usually about 100, uh, for a K2 release, there might be about three or 400 watching. So your chance are pretty good of winning something. So not only will they give away K2, they usually give away filament and stuff like that. Every week they give away some filament. Um, and you can start making guys like this. Now this guy here took me two days to make. He's a full one, so he has got legs. So he's, he's a full little droid. I got that off Droid Division there on Etsy. So he makes all these sort of droids. If you've seen any of my other videos and posters there, I've got lots of droids that are hanging around. Not so much in here, but there's a big black one. Sit behind this one. See that big black guy there? In the very corner. He's a seven foot droid. So that took me a bit longer than two days. But this took me two days on um, one, two, three, four, five printers. So I have the, um, I've got a lot of older printers I don't use anymore. The ones I do use now are the K1 Max, the um, K1, uh, yeah, K1C, the uh, Ender 3 V3 KE, the Ender 3 V3, and the Ender 3 V3 um, plus. So the plus? Yeah, plus. <laughs> so I use those for, and they are quick machines. And this guy, if you have a look at him really well, let's take his head off. If you have a look at his head, it is, you can, I haven't done anything to this, I've just printed and, and bolted it together. There's little bolts and stuff here. So if you have a look, you can't see any ley lines. I haven't sanded or anything. So these printers are good. Now, a lot of people might have some problems. If you have problems with your printers and stuff like that, guys, um, there are groups. I know Creality have groups for just about every printer they have. Um, if you want the official Creality one, you do a search in Facebook for Creality Official and then the name of your printer. So um, for the, let's say, K1, you do, do Creality Official K1. If it doesn't have an official in it, it's usually a, a um, private group that someone's started up. 
with and with the official it's got create it's done by Creality and Creality staff actually sit in the groups and uh, monitor try to keep it friendly and and you know um, relative to what, <laughs> what we're talking about so <coughs> <laughs> a few moments later. Anyway, so I'm going to finish off down here. Okay, so, um, yeah, so if you haven't joined any of the groups, um, jump on in, and if you've got questions, just ask the questions, and there's lots of helpful, knowledgeable people. And if you haven't, if you haven't started, um, if you've just got into printing, sorry, YouTube is fantastic for finding out how-to videos. Creality has a lot of how-to videos on a lot of their um, printers. So get in and have a look on YouTube and do just do a search for your printer name and there's usually tons and tons of stuff that come up. That's how I learned, well, how I learned originally was trial and error. But then once YouTube came out and start, people started posting stuff on YouTube, I went and watched every single one of them. And that's how you learn. Yeah, you learn by trial and error. Um, and I, I was back in the old days when they didn't have heated beds or anything and um, the plates were out this big and had to put tape on them to keep stuff down oh, it was a nightmare um, but nowadays it's heaps easier um, but if you want to do the things like this they're really easy with today's printers and it's um it's like a big model so if you like model building it's a way to go do something big challenge yourself that's what I do I challenge try to challenge myself every day trying to think of something that's going to be more enjoyable more parts in it I'm doing a um DeLorean car at the moment from, uh, from guys on Patreon. They just sort of started to put it together. So as you can see, and I've got parts all over the floor here in little tubs. Um, so the doors will probably, these are the doors, they will sit um, out here somewhere. Right, they raise up like that. And the front will be on there. But uh, yeah, I have fun putting it together. The instructions aren't always fantastic, so there's a lot of um, <laughs> trying to figure out how the thing goes together. It keeps me keeps me busy, and I, oh, I've got a back injury, so I can't work at the moment. So it's the only thing that keeps me sane. So um, anyway, so um, guys, if you like the video, please give a thumbs up, and a subscription would be lovely. Um, and I will see you next week when I will probably do a Raptor. I've got a, just got a Raptor. Um, that was a gift from Creality. Um, so I've just received that, so I'm just figuring out how to do it. It's not that difficult, I'm just, it's just a software you need to figure out how to, um, well it's not that hard. You just got to get the software and figure out the best, easiest way and the most productive way to, to hold the scanner and sweep the scanner across things. I've seen people do it, you know, they've done it for ages so they know exactly how to do it. Practice and practice and practice and practice. More errors you make, the more you learn. That's how I say it. So, what do you reckon, mate? Okay. <laughs> See you guys. Don't buy a chair from Timmy. Okay. Done. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. I really do appreciate the support. You might like one of these, or one of these videos um, that I've made in the past, so feel free. Okay, thanks, guys.